Hey, what's going on guys, Dignal here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you very quickly the uh, the, the best settings for Twixter or Twixter Pro in uh, in Vegas Pro pretty much. So uh, I've noticed a lot of you, are you're getting a lot of motion vectors because you haven't completely optimized your Twixter settings, and uh, I'm going to try and fix that for you guys today. So just go into your video effects tab and search for, uh, for Twixter. And go ahead and apply the uh, the default, and I'm gonna show you just step by step. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you what everything does and what you want to put everything on. So uh, first off, we have Twixtured output. Now this is pretty much what's gonna show. If you don't, if you put it on uh, track source, then it won't actually do anything. Uh, source is just gonna completely override the uh, the Twixter settings. It won't do anything. And Twixter output is going to show you like what happens when you have the Twixter uh, on the actual uh, track. So uh, display layer, uh, this is pretty much, I don't really know what this does, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I just put it on all, it'll be fine, I think. Uh, draw geom, pretty sure this should be on. I don't even think you can toggle it. So uh, yeah, just go ahead and keep that checked. So uh, time remap here, we have speed and frame number. If you put it on frame number, you're gonna get yourself really confused. So, uh, in my opinion, I'd recommend to keep it on speed percentage. Uh, so yeah, go, go ahead and do that unless you know exactly what you're doing. So obviously, your speed percentage is like how how quick the uh, the the video is in the current frame. Uh, you all know how this works. It's exactly like velocity or time remap or whatever. Uh, so yeah, and frame obviously this is just uh, if you select frame number, you do this. Uh, and you just use uh, that track right there, uh, and I'm just screwing everything up. Uh, but yeah, uh, track quality. Just keep this on best, no matter what you're doing. Keep this on best. Uh, if you don't, bad things will happen to you and your family. Okay. <laughs> okay. But anyway, uh, down here we have BG Motion Sense. Now this is pretty much how much it's going to Twixter. Uh, but I would definitely recommend putting this on no higher than like 20. So just put this down to 20 and keep it there. Now image prep, uh, you can put on contrast edge enhance. Uh, it doesn't really make too much of a difference in my opinion. Uh, but you know, you might as well put it on because why not? Uh, it doesn't really, it, it definitely does not decrease the quality. And uh, yeah. Uh, now, next we have cash opt flow. Uh, now, I'm not really quite sure what this does. I'm pretty sure this just makes it easier to render because it's caching something. Uh, but it doesn't affect quality whatsoever. So you just, just keep that as it is. Now, down here on frame interpretation, you need to put this on nearest. Uh, this is a, a huge, a huge factor. So if you put it on motion weight blend, you're going to get a lot of vectors. Same with the blend. You need to put it on nearest. That's what's gonna make things look the best for you, pretty much. And make sure you put the warping to inverse. It is standard, but forward will fuck everything up in unimaginable proportions, all right? Just put it on inverse, please. Now, smart blend, you can just play around with this. Uh, I've gotten mixed results from this. Sometimes it looks better, sometimes it looks worse. You won't really know until you try. But just go ahead and play around with that and uh, decide what's what gets you the best uh, the best possible results. And down here we have MB Compense. Uh, this is pretty much specify motion blur compensation. Uh, you don't really want this in my opinion unless you just really like motion blur for some reason. Uh, but no, I would keep this at a strong zero. And uh, this I don't wouldn't really play around with this all too much. This is pretty much like source mark segments <laughs> and it's not relevant to quality whatsoever. And down here, we also have very irrelevant, uh, uh, very irrelevant settings here for those of you who aren't quite sure. If you need to look at this tutorial, you will not be needing any of these settings. Uh, so yeah, I'm really sorry for the quick video today. However, uh, I have, you know, it's Christmas family shit, you know, and uh, yeah, just thought I'd give you guys this, uh, this quick tutorial. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all the good shit, and I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.